Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 44 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we are downloading songs from a website. The cost of one song is 99 cents. And so we need to find an equation that is used to find T, the cost of dollars in downloading N songs. So let's see if we can make a table to kind of help us out. So if we had, let's see, number of songs, just make ourselves a little input output table just so we can at least use that to plug into some of these equations here and then we'll say cost so we know that one song costs 99 cents and so if we want two songs we're just gonna have to double that so let's just double that 99 that's 8 that's 18, 19, all right, so 198, two songs, get you a buck 98. Oh, and let's just do three songs, just to be sure. Let's add another 99 cents on there. And we've got 17, that's 18, 19, 297. Now, you notice what we're doing here is we're starting with our number of songs. So in our problem, they actually give us an, a, a variable for here that we could use in the equation. N is the number of songs, and this is our input. So we are controlling the number of songs we have. One, two, three, so on and so forth. The cost, they say, is T, right? It's this T, the cost in dollars. And that's our output. And we're used to the input-output table, but really, in sixth grade, we don't call them an input-output table. We call them dependent and independent variables. So if you are wondering, this first one is our independent variable, because we control that. That's where we start from. It's our input. And then our output is our dependent variable, because it depends on what we do with the input. And so we have one song, we get 99 cents, two songs, 198. Now that we have some of these values, what we can do is we can start plugging them into these equations and see which of these work here. So let's start with F. So we've got T equals 0 0.99 plus N. And so let's see our T, let's start with this first one. And so we've got 0 0.99 equals 0 0.99, and then our first n is 1. Well, no, that's not going to work because that's actually going to equal, equal 199. And so they're just adding the number of songs, 99 cents plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. That's not going to work because we have to actually double or triple the cost of the song. So that is not going to work. Let's look at G. So G has got N equals 99 cents plus this T. So our N, 1 equals 99 cents plus T, which is another 99 cents, at least if we're looking at the first one. So that's not going to work because that 99 and 99, remember that made 198. So it does not look like it is an additive relationship. It looks like it's a multiplicative because we just added it both ways with the T and the N first. So let's look at H. T equals 99N. So we've got 0 0.99 equals 0 0.99 times 1. Oh, that does work. Or we've got 198 equals, this is the second one, 0 0.99 times 2, which means we double it. That works as well. Our answer is H.